Once the city used to pulse with energy, dirty and dangerous, but alive and wonderful. Now, it's something else. The changes came slowly at first. Most didn't realize, or didn't care, and accepted them. They chose a comfortable life. Some didn't. And those who refused to conform were pushed to the sidelines, criminalized. They became our clients. We call ourselves runners. We exist on the edge, between the gloss and the reality. The mirror's edge. We keep out of trouble, out of sight, and the cops don't bother us. Runners see the city in a different way. We see the flow. Rooftops become pathways and conduits, possibilities, and routes of escape. The flow is what keeps us running, keeps us alive. Train of time, Faith. Yeah, I know you hate it, but that fall took you out of commission for a while. And now you're back, you gotta keep sharp, especially in this city. Check out these new training grounds, pretty slick, huh? So let's not run around duty, so get to her and just go with the flow, okay? Hi, Faith. Welcome back. Didn't think we'd be seeing you so soon.
Merc wants me to run you through some sparring. You know how he is. You ready? Okay, come on. Through some weapon disarms, just in case. Remember what I taught you, Faith. Isolate them. Fight them one at a time if you gotta fight. Ha! <laughs> 
Okay, that's enough training, ladies. Gotta get to the real thing. Drake's got a job for yourself, so check in with him. Faith, let me know when you're ready to get going. See you later, Faith.
crazy. Get out of there, mate. I'm patching Celeste. You there, Cell? What the hell happened? I can hear gunshots, and that bird seems a little too serious. Space on her way. Get your ass ready to move. Playing rough cell. I'll be fine. Shit. Get out of here. You gotta get off that roof, mate. Don't care how you do it, just do it. Thing. They just opened fire. Don't know what the hell's happening. I'll ask around. Get your ass back to base, Faith. Say 
again, Officer Connors. Going to see Pope. Robert Pope. Taking a statement on that break-in last week? Yeah, anyways, it's, uh, 56 West Arlen Drive. Tell Lieutenant Miller. Copy that. I'll relay the message, Officer Connors. Thanks. Connors out. Hello, sis. You there, kiddo? Hey, Mark. I bet you're listening to the chatter. You know me. We'll try and get some sleep. It's been a rough day. Gonna put the word out tomorrow. See why those blues got itchy trigger fingers. I'll drop by later, okay? And don't chuck that pizza. I like the topping for sure. Matured. Yeah, I know. See you, Mark. Shots fired. Repeat, shots fired. All units proceed to 56 West Arlen Drive immediately. Proceed with caution. Kate! Where are you? Kate, where are you? Hey. Merc. You off? Just get on comms and track me. Almost there. Well, anytime you'd like to tell me where there is and what the hell you're doing, feel free. It's my sister. Ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna see if I can figure out what's going on. Give me a sec. some heat on West Island, Pope's place. I guess that's where you're headed, but be careful. I'll tell him what's going on there. You know he was running for mayor, right? Finally, someone who could actually make a difference in this place.
Okay, Drake says there's been some heat on West Orleans, Pope's place. I guess that's where you're headed, but be careful. I'll tell him what's going on there. Uh. You know he was running for mayor, uh. right? Finally, someone who could actually make a difference in this place. mall this weekend, then you need to stop by the Taste of New Eden restaurant for breakfast, lunch, dinner, or even just a snack. The Taste of New Eden. It's a little bit of paradise. Kate? What are you doing here? What happened? Did you? No! You don't recognize him? Should I? It's Robert. Robert Pope? Friend of Dad's? Shit, that Pope. He called me. We hadn't talked much since I joined up. He had a break-in last week. He's still a campaigner. Don't you read the news? It's not news anymore. It's advertising. He was running for mayor. So the break-in must have really spooked him then. That's what I thought. But it was odd. He told me about the break-in. Asked me to come, then asked after you. Really? I haven't seen him for at least ten years. Anyway, he was alive when I got here. Just sitting at his desk, writing. Everything went black. When I came to, he'd been shot. And I'm pretty sure it was with my gun. There was a book on the desk. A diary. It was gone. I'm sure there was someone else in the building. Left my radio in the car. Haven't had time to phone it in. Come on. Come with me. I'll take you somewhere safe. This isn't the time to run. I'm not like you. Running will just make me look guilty. You think this was an accident, Kate? There are no accidents in this city. Someone wanted him dead and wanted you to take the fall. Help me, Effie, please. You've got contacts. There's got to be more to this. Something he knew. Something he wanted to tell me. I can't get involved in this, Kate. You know what I do. I just... Great. Can't. Blue's incoming, Faith. You might want to be out going right about... Oh, now. I'll see what I can do. If this goes down badly, find Lieutenant Miller, my superior. Take anything you find to him. I'm serious, Faith. Remember, they're not playing nice. Get out of there. Now go! And Faith, thank you. Get out of that building, Faith. <laughs> SWAT's swarming on you, Faith. Find a way out of there. <laughs> 